Okay, the temperature minus 20. Wind chill minus 30. This is hands free wearable mode. Pocket three wearable. It's wearable, the camera is backwards. This camera. So if I turn my body, this camera is moving with my body. Now, having a hands-free operation in 20 blow, <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Is there a better way? Now, move away from all this noise. I wanted to get in some interesting noise, traffic. There's snow clearing, glass windows, etc. Pocket 3 in wearable mode. It's sitting in a Sunny Life case. The Sunny Life case has a GoPro adapter mount on the back. On there, I've converted it to PGY Tech cap lock. And I'm wearing a neck mount PGY Tech. Neck mount cap lock system. It's a quick release. Now, one interesting thing you can do, you can leave this harness on and remove the camera case by pushing a button. So like, if you want to walk into a store or anywhere, you can just leave this harness underneath your jacket. So, this harness is over my mid layer, under my outer layer. And it's cold, cold. Like you've got about two minutes till your hands are, are finished. You can't do anything anymore. In fact, even just trying to push the little buttons on the microphone is difficult, period, in this temperature. So, don't do that. It stays on. The camera stays on. My hands are completely free. Now, I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch of transitions. I'm gonna test the PGY Tech Beetle camera clip that goes on a backpack style. See how that compares with on my chest. This camera is under my chin, right under my chin. It's like the top of the gimbal is like an inch below my chin, but it's not bumping into me, and I, I don't even notice it. Mic 3 auto paired, I mean, Mic 2 auto paired to pocket 3, with the gain set to plus 3, but noise reduction is on. It's very windy. There is traffic noise. The video 4K 30 frames per second. ISO is set on a range 50 to 800. The weight balance is locked in. Now, this is just a little task, but. The point of this is always on capture. Uh, a true point of view, like it's too cold right now, but uh, I can show things with the chest mount. You're seeing my arms and hands, hands free. Right? Now, okay, I'm 
tame my body, tame my knees with my body. This mount is strapped around my back and my neck. Like it can't move. And like even if I bounce around, this is not going to move. <laughs> I want to immerse you in what I'm doing. I immerse you in darkness. In the sounds of nature. In, too bad we don't have smell senses or something. Maybe one day. So, if I turn around, essentially I am the camera mount now. Now the other thing is, when you walk, you swing your arms. It's a counterbalance, right? It's almost like you can't not do that. That's the way you're designed to operate. Look at some other animals, like uh, the, the tree climbing animals use their tail as a counterweight. A whole bunch of different ones. We're no different. We, we swing our arms, but if I'm carrying the camera, I've got to stop that behavior. It's not natural, right? Certainly you can do it, but it's not natural. So my arms are swimming. Uh, I don't have to think about this camera at all. I don't have to touch it. I might have to practice getting the settings right and the angle right and stuff like that, but I don't have to touch it. That also makes it safe. Now let's say I've got an emergency because um, <laughs> a pack of wolves just ran out of the bush. Well, I can still capture it all and, uh, you know, do what I need to do, whatever that means. Usually get away from them. <laughs> Happened to me with coyotes. So there's, there's multiple motivators here. Uh, one was wake-up calls, running away from where I'm at. You know, like an animal is right beside me. I've been right beside bears, coyotes. Uh, sometimes you don't know what they are, but you know they're right behind you. And uh, the first part of this process was being able to keep my essentials with me. So that if, if I do need to run away, I'm not leaving behind important stuff like you know, your phone, your wallet, your keys, lights, whatever, GPS, 